Lesson 6. Intent. The Ethics of Magic. Welcome back. Right now we need to take stock at how far you've come. And we also need to discuss the meaning behind your magical work. By now you should be using your Book of Shadows to record your work, your ideas and anything you think of that may relate to your magical work. How you make magic salt. When to make it. What magic tools and items you have. Spells for money, health and love, etc. You should have also completed some spells yourself, such as the money spell with the apple slices, or some other spells that you will find online on our YouTube channel. It's important when casting spells to think about the intent and meaning of your magical work. This is the part of magic that becomes the ethics of witchcraft. And to understand this, we need to learn something about where our traditions come from. Practical magic stems from those practitioners we would call witches. When we begin to look into witchcraft, we realise that this is a religion with no doctrine or dogma. It does not have rules and regulations of what you can or cannot do. It is a grown-up religion. It places the power on you and no one else. With this in mind, some practitioners created what is known as the Wiccan Reed, and if you've looked into witchcraft you will surely have come across it in some form. It is basically this, and it harm none, do what ye will, lest it return threefold like in times of old. There are many variations of this theme, but it is basically the same thing. In other words, act responsibly with magic. This rule of witchcraft does not stem from ancient belief. It was in fact created by the 19th century practitioners and occultists who were beginning to research the ancient arts such as witchcraft. As many hereditary practitioners would not allow strangers or external members into their practices, they kept quiet. And those who wanted to learn made up quite a large chunk of what we know as witchcraft. Subsequently, there are many schools of witchcraft, from Alexandrian to Gardnerian and Dianic. You can choose these paths, but all would agree that magic always comes from within. Therefore, act responsibly and with love, for the greater good.